another important aspect to algebra are these problem CBs are problem solving. Oh, problem solving is a very big topic on its own. Even when you go and write your Olympiads, these are the type of problems umfunda itola at CBs are my nine routine problems. Actually, let's say it's right. It's about on Jonas Fundi, it's a class in as well as come up with examination to check your problem solving skills. Life is all about solving problems. So this is sharpening your mind into solving problems. Now, how do we, let's look at one problem, for example. If I give you, given that x is equals to 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Remember, you can't put all those values in your calculator because you're calculating a limited number at a time. So you can't do this problem with a calculator. So definitely you do this without using a calculator. Right. This is what we are given. We are given that x is equal to that value. Now the question asks us to find the exact value of x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2. Let's look at this problem that we have here. We've got to find the exact value of this problem, yet we are given to go to x over. August good like on account x, we can push in that value. That is what this is saying. But this takes us back to grade 8, grade 9. Whenever I look at this, I must see what that is. It is a part of effectorization. The first part got algebra got the science. We call this uh, the difference of two squares. This is x squared minus two squared. Now, how do I do that? If I'm solving this problem, I will have x. I'm factorizing this. This is x squared to kill x no x. O4 work you are 2 and 2. If this is positive, this should be negative. So this is what we get when we factorize x squared minus 4. Be happy when you see a difference of squares. Because you just push x, you push 2, put x, you put 2, you just interchange sign. If the other one, if I write negative here, I've got to be positive here. But it should be exactly the same thing. This is all over x minus 2. Right. This is where your, your eyes comes in handy. I can see here, this one is exactly the same as this one. So this will go with this one. What am I left with? I'm left with what now? With x plus 2. This is what I have, x plus 2. But I am required to find the exact value of this. I know the value of x. I'm given the value of x. But I know that when I punch this on my calculator, Calculator will go up to this one. I want to be able to fit in that one, worth adding another value on top of it. Let's find another way. Let's go back to grade four, grade five. Remember how you used to do these problems. If you, you got that one as x, which is what? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Right. <clears throat> what are we doing? This is the value of x. This is x. Instead of x, I've just replaced it with this whole value that I'm given in the beginning. What do I do to this x? No, 2. We are at 2 now. At plus 2. Then I've got to find the solution. I add 9 plus 2. It's 11. Carry 1. Plus 1, it's 10. Carry 1 plus 1, it's 10. 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 Plus one, it's ten. 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 This becomes our solution. These are typical problems that we call non-routine that you can do them without using a calculator.